My name is Graham O'Neill, and it is time to talk about episode 8 of the final season of Glee. This one was called A Wedding, and yes, it finally happened. Clean and Britannia fans, your favorite couple, got married. They had to share the moment, but they got married. One minute before the episode started, Naya Rivera team tweeted, One minute, hashtag Glee, I'm shaking. Yes, it was the best wedding in a barn since Kelly Clarkson's tied up music video. And yeah, Clean tied the knot too. I mean, they prolonged or they kept them apart for eight episodes they somehow managed to do it for that long and then once they got back together it happened like that um, it was very quick how it happened as Brittany said at one point in the episode I can't even keep track of your relationship anymore this clean thing has gone on for so long um, yeah when it happened Kurt was running down the street and cynical glee tweeted running down the road seems a little dramatic Kurt has a car yeah and then uh, I ship glee tweeted this is literally effing ridiculous. They just got back together 24 hours prior and now they're getting married. Yeah, well, welcome to the world of Glee. There's not a lot of logic, especially in this final season. That's the one thing, I mean, watching this episode and some of the past episodes, that's the one thing that's really bothered me is that these characters don't seem to have lives other than getting into their relationships again. Like Santana had a whole career starting to go, being a publicist or acting, that kind of thing. Now literally her entire role this season has just been to be with Britney and same with Britney. Kurt and Blaine, it's just, yeah, just about them getting back together. I mean, there's not a lot of plot in this season other than we're gonna get all your favorite couples back together. I feel like it kind of sends the wrong message to kids out there that, yeah, just come back to your hometown and to your old high school and, and just settle on getting back together with your old flame and not worry about your career at all. It's kind of a weird message to be sending, but hey, this was a nice episode. Everyone looked looked gorgeous. Um, and of course, online, this the fact that Clean had to share their wedding with Britanna, it got the Clean fans angry, got the Britanna fans angry. Um, Mitch Grassy tweeted, I'm yelling the Britannia stands must be so mad because Britannia Lily would only get married if Clean did too. Bye, you mad, you mad. And Sarfati Chris uh, tweeted, Britannia ships Clean so hard. I'm sorry for Britannia shippers, you hate them well. Actually, not sorry. Posey's Anatomy uh, tweeted, why isn't Quinn there? Yeah, I found that kind of weird that Quinn wasn't at the wedding. Of course, uh, Dan Aragon just decided not to come back to this episode, so they just didn't bother explaining why she uh, wasn't there. Punk Soul pointed out as well that uh, where's Unique, Ryder, Jake, and Marley, yeah, they didn't get invited to the wedding, but the, I can't even remember her name. I always forget her name. Uh, her real name is Becca Tobin. I can never remember her character name, but somehow she got invited to the wedding, um, even though she was fighting with Santana at the beginning of the season. I love how like, like this last season that Becca Tobin gets to stick around while all the other uh, new kids got shipped off and who knows where they are. I guess they'll come back for the finale. Um, but of course, Sue was there as well. She came back and she was back in her saintly mood this week. It seems to happen a couple times a season where she's in a really good mood and helps everybody out. So she brought Santana's grandma back. So that was nice. I love seeing Santana and Sue kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with their insults. I tweeted that I would just love to see a finale that was just about Sue and Santana just trading insults the whole time. Um, and also back was Carol and Bert. Uh, Finn and Finn's dad, no sorry, Finn's mom and Kurt's dad who got married. Uh, it was nice to see them back again and I did like that their little speech to Clayne um, about Finn and what they learned from him and Leah Corey uh, tweeted as well, Carol talking to Kurt and Blaine about living in a moment and how Finn taught her that. I thought that was a nice little moment to tie Corey Monteith into their getting married. And of course Tina was back as well. Wow, Tina. So the episode started off with she's lugging the hay into the barn saying, how did she get this job? It's typical of Tina. And then she proposes the mic and Mike shuts her down. Typical Tina, she gets the shaft again. And she's okay with that. She's like, oh, okay, sure, I didn't, you know, I proposed to you and you turned me down. And then Artie, I thought he was gonna propose, but he actually just proposes that if they're still both uh, single when they're 30, they'll get married. And Tina's totally cool with that. So Tina's just cool with being a backup fiance. Like Tina is the saddest character ever on TV. I don't know why the writers are so set on writing her as such a sad sack, but man, it's it's pretty bad. Um, of course, then there's Mercedes as well, who's totally fine with Sancho. It's kind of hilarious how fine she is with it all. But really, it was about the wedding, and the wedding was nice. Um, Miss Harmonizer 1 tweeted, Naya is so stunning. And Colfer's Gustin tweeted, Britain is everlastingly, faithfully, and possibly scissoringly married. Really not sure what they're going to do for five more episodes. They need to have some kind of plot going. 
Um, but I guess we're not going to see Britannia until the finale probably because they because Sue did give them a month long um, honeymoon, so they probably won't be back. I did love um, the couple singing "Our Day Will Come" a Jamie Cullen song right at the end. It's kind of a, I know that song, but it's a very offbeat song for them to choose. Um, so I like that they did that song. But yes, we have five more episodes to go, so we'll see what Glee brings next week. Hopefully, there's some kind of plot and actually some career. Um, career driven plot for some of these characters other than just getting back together with their old flames so make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll be back with another review next week